Hey, Ricky. How you doing, buddy? What should we do today? Huh? What do you want to do today? Oh, we got to bring the chickens their food, huh? So we got to go take care of the chickens a little bit. And then what should we do? Okay, we'll work on the tracker. Then we'll work on the tracker. Well, welcome back everybody to the Degelman Farm. Uh, today we're going to finish up, hopefully finish up, the last of the lights on the old Case SC tractor. Uh, we're changing them over. You know, in the earlier video, <coughs> video we uh, were changing all the old 12 volt lights over to LEDs, 12 volt LEDs with a 12 volt power supply. Uh, these we hadn't had working in the past, something I kind of thought about for a few years. We've had this tractor for, I don't know, four or five years, something like that. Uh, and it's actually a water fountain. I'll show you here in a bit, Ricky, and I'll show you here in a little bit. But it's actually a water fountain. <laughs> Ricky's more interested in his neck than anything. It's actually a water fountain uh, that squirts water out of the radiator in the summertime. There's a pump down below, uh, like I talked about, and it looks pretty cool. Uh, Jane plants a lot of flowers and stuff in the wagon that's on the back of it. And it's kind of the feature as the guests first arrive to the farm uh, from the parking lot area. This is one of the first features they see as they enter the farmyard. So we're gonna make the lights work on it so it looks a little cooler after dark. Uh, we had some landscaping lights shining up on it. Um, but but I wanted to do something a little better with it. So we're gonna work on that today. They're talking three to five inches of snow tonight. So, you know, if we get that with a little bit of wind, that might be the end of working in these rocks here. So we'll try to finish it up today as best we can. There's a few things I won't be able to finish today. I gotta tuck some wires up underneath uh, once it goes live. I need a bigger, the fake rock where all the electrical junction comes together. <clears throat> I got to get a bigger one for that because this power supply takes up a little more room than what the old setup I had did. So I'll have to get a bigger fake rock, plastic rock, and uh, yeah, but we'll sh we should be able to get this done hopefully, and uh, it'll look pretty cool. Uh, get this done before the snow flies. Right, Ricky? Is that what we should do? Is that what we should do? Well, let's see, what's the first step here? We're going to, we're all these wired. I think I'll put the headlights in first. And then we'll go backwards from there. These, uh, this cord, I'm not gonna worry about right now for winter. I'm just gonna leave it lay on top of the rocks like this. And next spring, when we can, We'll kind of tuck it down on the rocks and maybe lay some other smaller rocks on top of it to hide it. Uh, here's the, the junction where all the electrical comes together. And this rock isn't going to be big enough with the new power supply. And some of this has to go away too. But again, that won't happen until springtime. This cord here goes out to the pump, which is underneath that rock there. So yeah, we'll get another rock probably about the same size as that one. This one was a little too small for what we're doing here. But we'll get that hooked up. And I don't know how well you can see this. This is our LED lamp and holder. I epoxied that in there into the old fixture. Uh, and these are warm tone. And I think if this looks like I hope it's gonna look, I'm gonna switch. You know, I did the, the uh, Studebaker truck and the old Chevy truck, we replaced those, but I used a white LED light, it's, it's kind of a harsh white. And I believe I'm gonna switch them over to this warm white, because I think that's gonna look better. It's gonna kind of fit the, the warmer tones look nicer than that harsh white color. We'll get those lens rings on. I didn't clean these lenses up too much or the back reflector, because I want it to look, I want it to look like an old tractor, which is what it is. I don't want to give it too clean of a look. I want it to remain looking like an old tractor. 
I wiped them off. I wiped the worst of the dirt off, but I didn't uh, like scrub them to try to try to make it too clean because that isn't the look we're after. It's a little chilly working here this morning with no gloves. There, that one's done. And then we'll pull that junction together up under here is where that'll go. When we do that, and we'll do the other light on the other side. Strip these two apart. Strip the positive and negative apart. And the lens and the and the bezel, that's a cool word, bezel. Can you say bezel? Oh, that's the wrong bezel. I grabbed the small one. Now I get to climb over these rocks again to get the right one. secure. Now I got the back one to do, except I'm gonna warm my hands up for a few minutes to put my gloves on. It's dang cold. Well there, I got the two front headlights <coughs> all enclosed. I've got to, uh, like I say, junction all those wires together, but I got the lenses in and the bezel on the two headlights. I got to do the back light, the rear light here, I just want to warm my hands up for a few minutes before I do that. And I'm gonna have a drink of nice warm coffee. Oh, I love cheap coffee. <clears throat> and we'll do more videos too about, when we get into spring, about the, uh, the Cushman maintenance buggy I, I really love this thing we got this late last summer early fall last year <clears throat> got it outfitted with toolboxes and it's the handiest darn thing it all my tools not all my tools but 90 percent of the tools you need for little projects all over the farmyard whether it's the buildings the equipment uh doing stuff like this whatever 90 percent of all the tools i need I carry right on there, which is like incredibly handy. Not grabbing tools, take them on and off. We got a Polaris Ranger. We've also got the golf cart, but having everything mounted in one place, I know the thing looks kind of goofy, but having everything mounted in one place, uh, all those tools right with you is so handy. I got to do a little work on it. The, the driven sprocket that comes off the uh, uh, electric motor to the uh, the, the driven spark, sprocket that's on the differential is the teeth are wore off it really really bad so I got to take that all apart and get a new sprocket a new chain for it the the drive sprocket on the electric motor is good but the driven sprockets all just wore out this thing's it's far from new it's been around a while but yeah it's such a handy vehicle we'll do a little video when I take that all apart later here but uh, we'll get back to this tractor my hands are warmed up a little bit now have another drink of coffee. There. So now we'll get back to this rear tail light. You gonna help me? Or just be in the way, huh? You gonna help? And my hands are freezing. So there, there's the rear lights in place. Well there, all we've got is the junction up here then. We've got this junction up here where everything's coming together. And then uh, we'll wire in the uh, 12 volt power supply temporarily until we get a bigger rock and make that permanent in the spring. But we can verify that our lights work and, and all that here yet. 
now the wind's picking up a little bit before that snow comes you can kind of see it getting a little darker off in the southwestern sky not exactly sure where the what direction the snow is supposed to be coming out of but well, there's where here's where all my wires are going to come together and then when we are done in the spring they're going to go up there's some room up in here I'll get a bracket of some sort to hold that all up in here and it'll all be protected from the weather hot wire hot wire hot wire one more up there and another hot wire twist all you boys together now all our negatives together so there that should be all our wires we're gonna for now we'll just lay all this up in here it's kind of protected up in there from the weather but i want to fasten it up there kind of semi-permanent i'll get some kind of bracket i can fasten it underneath the the hood here we'll get our 12 volt power supply here get my gloves on because my hands are freezing again i haven't showed you this yet this is our bar one of the bars here at the farm there's two uh the one up in the loft and then this outdoor one and we'll do some come springtime we'll do more videos about that but i've got power available here which is only about 30 40 feet from where that tractor is I've got some cords here. I like those lighted cords with the lighted ends because then you know you've got, you know you have power at least coming that far. Let's try this. Let's see if everything works. And if it doesn't, uh, I don't know. So we have power to our power supply. And we're going to plug this is our fused end that goes in the end of the power supply here. <laughs> and just like that, look at there, we got lights to the headlights. And they're a nice golden color instead of a harsh white color. So I'm pretty sure I will be changing the ones I just did. And then that won't be so bright. I don't want them too bright like you would on a normal headlight. I don't want it to be harsh and shining in somebody's eyes that's walking around here at night. But those two work. Let's go see if the, let's go verify if the back one's working here. And the back one works too. Nice. After dark, I'll come back and uh, verify how these look after dark we'll come back after dark okay buddy and we'll show them what it looks like after dark all right yeah you're a good puppy you're a good farm dog okay thanks for watching we'll see you after dark well hey everybody welcome back to the Dagelman farm we're gonna see what the tractor looks like after dark let's turn some lights on here there now you can probably see me because I can't see you. Uh, so let's uh, we just turn the lights on at the bar. Now let's go over to the case tractor that we'd rigged those lights up on earlier today. Let's see what that looks like. And there, whoop, that came loose. There, we got power there, and there's our lights. That is perfect. That's just the color we're looking for. It's not too harsh, not too white. It's a little dirty, a little dull. That's gonna good, look good next summer. The tractor's working. All the flowers are in the back here. Light shining there. And then we already have got, I've got solar powered lights back here already. Where guests first enter the farmyard and they walk in from the parking lot area and this is kind of the first stuff they see as they walk in. They'll see the, they'll see the, the sign with the lights, the wagon full of flowers. Yeah, 
That turned out good, didn't it, Ricky? Yeah, that looks just how I want it to look. So this will be lit up real nice next summer. Perfect. We'll tuck all them wires. I'll put that power supply. <clears throat> I'll put that power supply away for the winter here, and we'll worry. I got to get a bigger rock, like I had said. And cover all that up. We got some wires to hide and tie up, but for now, that's going to be good. Um, but yeah, that turned out nice. Look at the bar here. Hopefully that wind, it's kind of windy out. That storm's coming in tonight. There's supposed to be a snowstorm tonight. Uh, it's supposed to be in here in another hour or two. And uh, yeah, okay. that project's done until next spring. We've got a few more lighting projects we want to do yet this year. Um, I want to do, we've got a whimsical looking outhouse kind of thing that I'll show you later. That's going to be 110 volt lighting. Uh, a couple of fixtures there if we need that's not too big a project and then i still want to do that fire truck i think we talked about that fire truck a little bit we want to do that kind of solar panel with a deep cycle battery kind of how we did the woodshed earlier um, but these are the kind of projects we work on over the winter things uh we really don't have time for in the summer when there's uh weddings and events and stuff going on don't have that kind of time to work on some of these sort of projects so, uh, we work on that kind of stuff in the winter but uh, thanks for watching I'll unplug everything here but thanks for watching and I'll see you later